Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel Univentry. I am Sunit Kumar and I am thrilled to have you here. If you are a student dreaming of studying abroad, then you are at the right place. Today I am going to tell you the differences between GRE and GMAT exam. This will help you decide on which standardized test you should take, whether GRE or GMAT. The GRE that is Graduate Record Examination and GMAT that is Graduate Management Admission Test are both standardized tests used for admissions to graduate programs. But they are designed for different purposes and are often associated with different types of programs. Here are the key differences between the two tests. First, purpose and target pr programs. So GRE, the GRE is a general graduate admission test used for a wide range of graduate program, including uh, including but not limited to business programs. It is accepted by various disciplines such as humanities, social sciences, natural sciences and engineering. GMAT, the GMAT is a specifically designed, uh, is, is specifically designed for admissions to graduate business programs, particularly Master of Business Administration, that is MBA programs. Second is content and structure. GRE, the GRE consists of three main sections, verbal reasoning, quantitative reasoning, and analytical writing. The verbal and quantitative sections include multiple choice questions, and the analytical writing section requires test takers to write essays. In GMAT, it, GMAT also includes three main sections, quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning, and data insights. Third is, Quantitative Emphasis In GRE, the GRE's quantitative section covers a broad range of math concepts including arithmetic, algebra, geometry and data interpretation. In GMAT, the GMAT's quantitative section focuses more on problem solving and data sufficiency, often involving complex reasoning and decision making. Fourth is Acceptance and Programs While the GRE is widely accepted for various graduate programs, including some business programs, it might not be preferred or accepted by all MBA programs. However, the trend is shifting and some business schools are becoming more open to accepting GRE scores. GMAT, on the other hand, is specifically designed for MBA and other graduate pro business programs. Many business schools, especially those with strong MBA programs, require GMAT scores for admission. Now the scoring part, the GRE has a verbal score of 130 to 170 in one point increments, a quantitative reasoning score again of 130 to 170 in one point increment, and an analytical writing score that is from 0 to 6 in half point increments. GMAT, on the other hand, the GMAT Focus Edition, the total score scale ranges from 205 to 805 and all total score values end in a 5. Section score range from 60 to 90. So, quantitative reasoning score has a score range of 60 to 90 and score interval of 1. Verbal reasoning score has a score range of 60 to 90 and a score interval of 1. Data Insight score has a score range of 60 to 90 again and a score interval of 1. Now the test format. GRE, in GRE, the quantitative and verbal reasoning measures are sectional level adaptive, meaning the sec second section of the quant you receive will be easier or harder based on your performance on the first section of quant. Same for verbal. Now this test this test format allows you to move freely within each section and change as many answers as you'd like. In GMAT Focus Edition, the, question, the Focus Edition is question level adaptive, meaning the program selects your next question based on your previous response. Now this test format limits your ability to change your answer in each section. Ultimately, the choice between the GRE and the GMAT depends on specific graduate program you are applying to and their admission requirement. If you are considering 
both business and non-business programs, the GRE might provide broader flexibility. And if your focus is solely on business program, the GMAT might be more relevant choice. Always check the admission requirements of your target programs to determine which test is preferred or accepted. I hope this video was useful for you. Remember to stay tuned for upcoming videos as we will be regularly posting new content every week. Together, let us make your dreams of studying abroad a reality. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button to join our amazing community. Your support means the world to us and it helps us continue creating content that you love. Stay tuned for more exciting videos coming your way. Remember, every like, share and subscription counts. Until next time, take care and keep exploring.